Hi everyone, so long time no see. I know I haven't done a video in a couple of days, but... So I know I haven't filmed a video in a couple of days, or uploaded a video in a couple of days. I have been filming, but I haven't been able to edit or upload because I have been kind of sick. So, yeah, so I'm really sorry about that. But I'm back, and videos are gonna keep coming, and I'm so excited. My next video should be like a prom video, and I already filmed that one. It's like a drugstore prom look. I'm really excited about that one, and yeah. But for today's video, I just got my mail, and I got this, like the day it came out, I had to have it because I've seen the videos online and I needed to try it. It's the KKW and Mario makeup palette. I did get the lip gloss or one of the lip glosses, but that hasn't come in yet. They came in two separate boxes. I don't know why, but they did. Um, and I haven't even opened it. I just opened the box. I don't wanna like show you my address, but it, as you can see, the box says KKW Beauty on it. I tried cutting it so I can show you guys the box and I haven't even opened it, but I wanted to show you guys that it has the KKW Beauty on it. Um, but yeah, so. I haven't opened it, I'm so excited to try it. I'm a huge fan of Makeup by Mario. He is insanely talented. My last Instagram picture, um, I did an, a look inspired by Kim Kardashian that he actually did on her for I think the Met Gala and that look was beautiful and I'm so proud of that look, the, the one that I recreated. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, all of my social medias are down below so go make sure to go follow me on that. And yeah, so I'm a huge fan of Mario. Sorry that I'm out of breath. I literally ran over here because I just got the box in the mail. Um, and yeah, so I don't have any makeup on. And I'm going to play around with the palette and then I'll do the rest of my makeup. And then I'll just let you guys know what I think. But I'm so excited. Okay, so as you can see, the box is all pink. And the wrapping in it is pink too. It's like an iridescent packing, packaging. It's really pretty. And here's the palette. I know some people don't like how plain it is, but I actually really like it. So it's like a gray slate color, and it has the KKW and X Mario on it in a glossy print. Okay, I'm so excited. Okay. So I just took it out of the box, and this is what the palette looks like. And it has all of the names on the back. I actually live in Miami, so it's really exciting that, we're, exciting that one of the names is Miami. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's open it, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> that gold. Look at that, look at the gold. Okay, so that's, those are the colors. Oh my gosh. Okay, everyone's playing around with the blue, so I think that even though the blue is like the, the color of the palette, I think I'm gonna maybe just put a little bit on the lower lash line, but I'm not gonna do anything crazy with it because I do wanna play with the other ones since I feel like most people haven't been using the other ones. But I'm so excited, oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, they're so pretty. This one is beautiful. Okay, so let's see. So this is 2008, Glam, Miami, Armenian, sorry, I'm reading it upside down. <laughs> Armenian, loyalty, decade, Albanian, Vegas, Libra, bronzy. Those are the shades. They're all beautiful. And I'm so excited to play around with them. Oh, yes, okay. So I'm gonna prime my lids really quick. First, I'm actually just gonna clip my hair back because I've got a lot of hair and I don't want it in my face while I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so I don't have any makeup on other than lip balm. So I'm gonna put my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Prime, Primer Potion. This is the anti-aging one. I don't know why I still have to look at the bottle <laughs> to tell you guys that. I think I've used it in every single video. It's my favorite eye primer. Okay, so. Oh, and please don't mind the scar. Something bit me here and it left the biggest scar and I'm trying to get rid of it now. Okay, so that's done. Now, I'm gonna take the palette. I'm gonna take the shade, what is that, Decade? Decade, which is this matte like cream shade, and I'm gonna set the base, the, the eyeshadow primer with that using uh, the balm brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Decade shade. Tap off any of the excess. Oh wow, it's really pigmented. And I haven't swatched any of these as you guys saw, I just opened the box, so. I 
probably should have swatched them, but I was too excited to put them on my eye. Wow, this is way more pigmented than I thought it would be. That's like ghost white. But because I'll be doing other shadows, it won't matter. Okay, so I'm just gonna repeat that to the other eye. Okay, so the fact that I have fallout underneath isn't a big deal because I haven't done my face yet. So, and I'll probably have fallout from other shades. That's why I always do my eyes first. But, whoa, that is white. I look like a nut job right now. Fantastic. Okay, now I'm gonna take um, a Real Techniques base shadow brush, which is just like a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna take the shade Miami, which is where I'm from and live and I'm gonna put that in the crease wow these are very pigmented I feel like I used the wrong brush yeah I'm gonna take a different brush I'm actually gonna take that on a cosmetics crease brush that same Miami shade tap off the excess yeah that's what I want okay It's kind of getting a bit patchy right here. And I don't know why, because I set it so it's not the eye primer sticking. But it's a beautiful shade and it's blending out beautifully. And it's very pigmented. But I did notice that. And I thought it was a brush, which is why I changed brushes, but it's happening with this one too. But it's okay. We can blend that away. See, there is fallout, but it's okay. That's why I always recommend doing your eyes first and then your face. That way, if you do have fallout, it's not a big deal and you can just take a wipe and wipe it off. So these are extremely pigmented. That's why one eye, I have to like, deepen both of them, but they're beautiful nonetheless. So I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush. I'm just gonna blend. because I didn't anticipate it to be that pigmented. Okay, now that looks really pretty. So you, it will look gorgeous, you just have to take a little bit of time blending it. It's not a big deal whatsoever. And I will admit, I did go a little bit heavy handed with it because I got a bit excited. So that was, also my bad. But I'm really happy at how they blended. They blended beautifully. And there's no patchiness anymore. Okay. Because I can't stand looking at fallout, even though I'm not doing, there's nothing on my face and I'm just starting, I have to take it off as I'm going. So I'm just gonna take a Huggies wipe and gently take off the fallout. Just cause I don't wanna be distracted and it kind of makes my eyes feel like they're uneven. So I'll just keep deepening it and deepening it and deepening it just because there's fallout on because I think that they're uneven. So if, as long as I always have them even, they're fine. So that's just my being OCD. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Albanian, which is this one, I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Albanian, which is this like matte reddish brown shade. So I'm gonna take this Morphe little dense stone brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of Albanian, just like two taps in. Wow, that, that picked up a lot of pigment. And I'm just gonna put that very lightly on the outer corner. These are extremely pigmented, by the way. I'm literally touching it once and I'm getting a ton of pigment. And I'm barely touching my eye as well. I'm extremely impressed with this formula. So I'm just gonna take that same clean brush from before. I'm just gonna lightly blend it up in circular motion.
so I'm content with that. I didn't really want anything like too, too intense because I feel like all the tutorials on this palette are very intense with the blue especially. So I wanted to show you guys that you can use this look for a very natural look as well. This isn't very natural, I'm kind of taking it a bit smoky, but this look doesn't have, this palette doesn't have to be only used for like the intense blue. Now I'm gonna take the shade Loyalty, which is this dark matte brown shade, and I'm just gonna line my, la my upper lash line really, really gently. As you can see, I just lightly smudged it out. Now, I'm gonna take just a little flat shader brush and I'm gonna take the shade. Okay, I'm gonna swatch them first. So I'm gonna swatch, this is Armenian, which is the gold. And I'm gonna swatch Glam. Whoa, and 2008. Whoa, and bronzy, those are the ones that I want to swatch right now. Wow, bronzy's beautiful. Okay, so we have Armenian. Okay, let's do this better. Okay, so that's Armenian. Then this is Glam. Whoa, that one's really impressive. Then we have 2008. That was the worst swatch ever, but whoa. And then we have Bronte. Wow. They're so pretty, especially 2008, I'm in shock. I think that's what I'm gonna put all over the lid. Even though that's not really, I don't typically like putting that light of a shade on my lid, I'm gonna do it because it's just so pretty. So I'm gonna put 2008 all over the lid. First I'm gonna do it dry, then I'm gonna use my finger, then I'm gonna go in wet with a, with a brush. So. so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush. And I'm just gonna pack it on. Wow, that's very pigmented. And I'm just patting it on, I'm not rubbing. Wow, that's beautiful. This is giving me like Casey Holmes vibes. Okay, wow, that's so pretty. There is fallout, as you guys can see, but it's not that big of a deal because I don't have my foundation on. I don't know how many times I can say that, but so I'm gonna take it on my finger. That's what it looks like on my finger. Let's just put a little bit more. I'm just gonna, whoa. Okay, you definitely get a pow with your finger. Oh wow, what the hell band. Was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. That performed beautifully. So I'm just gonna lightly blend that out. Now I'm going to wet the brush. So I'm gonna take the same brush as before, pack it on like so. I'm going to take my favorite Ofra spray, spray the brush, fantastic. And then I'm just going to Well, that definitely did the trick. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so these clearly can be used wet or dry. 
I'm just gonna repeat the same to the other eye, just to even them out. for the day that I have today. I'm just gonna take a little bit of Miami on the blending brush that I've been using this entire time and just soften off up the edges. Quite intense. I didn't really realize it would be that pigmented. So I'm just intensifying it with the brushes that I used. I'm not adding, I'm only adding Miami. I'm not using any other color but Miami. But I'm just using different brushes. Okay, so I might take a little bit of bronzy on the lower lash line, but I'm first gonna finish up the rest of my makeup. And then I'll be back to do the lower lash line. Okay, so I just got this new... Sorry if you can hear the fan out in the background. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this in or not. But I just got this. It's not new. It's new to me. It's the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder by Cosmetics. Um, and I'm really excited to try it. So I'm going to try it under my eyes. I've heard really good things about this. So I thought, why not try it? So it's brand new. As you can see, the little sticker thing is still on it. See if I can open it. I'm a huge It Cosmetics fan, so why not try out their powder that they're known for? So that's the powder. Then screw the lid back on, tap it, tap both sides. That way, all the powder isn't only on top, it doesn't fly everywhere. Can you guys see the powder? It like flew. Okay, so I've got a little bit on the lid. Okay, so I just lowered the fan. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. It's 90, like 9 degrees outside, so like I said, I live in Miami, so it's really, really hot right now. I don't know why I'm wearing long sleeves, but whatever. So that's what the powder looks like. I'm just going to take my beauty blender. And this is damp. I'm just going to take a little, put it under my eyes. Wow, that's super finely molded, like completely dissolved into my skin. Whoa. It like blurs everything wait i'm gonna take more than that so i'm gonna take the actual thing put a, a lot of my sponge i'm just gonna pack that on this probably will cause flashback like i said i don't know i've never used this before but just based on the texture alone and the color and how finely milled it is you can kind of predict it But whoa, can you guys see how smooth my skin looks? Like, oh, oh my gosh. Whoa, I've never felt my skin that soft in my life. Oh, ah. I just spilled a lot. Okay, so I coated, coated my sponge. Tap out the creases. It doesn't smell very good. Like if you inhale a lot of it, I don't really recommend it. Yeah, I don't really recommend baking with it. So as you can see on this side, I immediately wiped it off and there isn't that much residue, but on this side, there's a lot of it. Just trying to blend that out. a little bit on my nose. So I'm just gonna take a little Eco Tools brush, just grab a little bit. Okay, 
So thus far, I'm a fan. It does leave a little bit of a residue. That doesn't really bother me that much because I will be putting another powder on top. And I did load on a lot of products, so I'm not really that surprised. But I really like the way it left my skin feeling. I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna take the it Cosmetics CC powder, like the, the same CC cream that I always use, and I use the compact version today. I'm gonna use their powder. I've only ever used this once, so that's why it's a little bit used, but I'm gonna try it out again. So I'm gonna take that same Eagle Tools brush, just for a little bit more coverage. Now that I'm done with that, I'm just gonna finish the rest with the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to do the lower lash line. So now I'm gonna take the palette again and I'm gonna take this little thin brush that I use for loyalty and I'm just gonna take the shade Miami and just run it across my entire lower lash line very, very lightly. being very precise with it. That will be blending it out. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the other side of the balm brush that I used for the first color. It has like a fluffy brush on the other side. I'm just gonna blend that out. And now I'm gonna take the shade Libra, which is the blue. I'm just gonna coat that same brush. And then I'm gonna spray it with the Ofra spray. Okay, so now that the brush is sprayed, I'm just going to apply Libra to the lower lash line. And then, whoa, this is extremely pigmented and very pretty. I kind of want to wing it out a little bit. And then kind of blend over my Wow, that definitely amped up the look. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna repeat the same thing to the other eye. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Morphe pencil in the shade Trendsetter, which is a brown, and I'm just gonna put that in the waterline. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Beauty Crop Black Liquid Liner, the Wing Woman Liquid Liner. So I kind of want to intensify the blue, so I just took a little bit more. I'm just going to intensify it on the outer corner especially, and on the wing. And I'm not good at wings, so if they're uneven, I'm really sorry. I'm practicing, I'm still learning. Right now I'm just playing around like I don't know how I feel about this, but we'll see. Like I had no idea what I was doing with this look going into it. I just wanted to play around with the colors. Oh, and I'm so sorry about the fan in the back. It's really, really hot. So, so basically I'm going over the black liner with the blue right now. Very, very, very lovely. Just to kind of tie it together. So that's what it looks like thus far.
it's not the most practical look, but it's cool. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do my lash primer and my mascara and I'll be back to do my lips and to give my final thoughts. Okay, so that's what the makeup look came out, or that's how the makeup look came out. I'm not mad at it. It's it's very out there. It's not what I normally go for, but I'm not mad at it. This palette is gorgeous. I loved every single shade that I used. I was not disappointed by a single one. I highly recommend this palette. I think it's like $50, which that sounds like expensive and people are going to hate on it because it's Kim Kardashian. She's charging overcharging, but if you think about it, most palettes are that expensive, if not more. So then you can take into consideration like a Pat McGrath $125 palette, like Natasha Denona $250 something. Like this isn't that bad. So, and for the pans are pretty big. The pans are very decently sized. They're all incredibly pigmented. They're very wearable colors, with the exception of this, that which I really appreciate that she included that because then you can also have a fun look. This is definitely a very, very, very good palette. To to have like i really like it i love how thin it is i love how sleek it is the mirror is excellent so it's very sleek i love how thin and compact it is it's great for traveling i love how the names are on the back i'm very 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 impressed with this palette i highly recommend it i'm so excited to see what else she comes up with and this is my first kkw beauty product but i'm so impressed by it i might try something else i actually have tried her cream contour sticks not on myself but i have used my friend does have them and i have used them and i'm not the biggest fan of those but this is incredible, so she's definitely improved with her makeup, so I'm excited to see what else she comes up with, and I'm excited to get the lip gloss in the mail. I will definitely let you guys know what I think about that. Um, and yeah, congratulations to Kim and Mario, and I'm so excited to continue using this palette, and yeah, if you guys like this video, please remember, please, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel and to ring the little notification bell, that way you guys get notifications with the future videos I post. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, and please remember to follow me on social media. I have all of my links down below where you guys can see it. Um, and yeah, please leave a comment down below what future videos you guys like to, you guys would like to see. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.